another sexual harassment allegation. And this time it comes from one of the people I used to have a ton of respect for in the animation industry. And now I'm just having a... I can't believe you did this moment. You know, one of those cases where you think this person is chill, but when you dig up more information about him... Nope, nope, nope. You were fooled by a PR facade. So, all right. So, in case you're wondering, the person we are talking about today is Disney, Walt Disney Animation and Pixar's CCO, um... John Lasseter has been accused of grabbing, kissing, well actually I should quote from the Hollywood Reporter, grabbing, kissing, making comments about physical attributes. So Lasseter has been accused of um, sexual harassment. It's funny, when the story broke out um, yesterday from the time I'm doing this recording, I just got this statement. I forgot where I picked it up, but it's been spreading around the internet. And the statement, and it basically lasted was saying he was leaving um Disney for a six month sabbatical because of um bad things that happened. I have the statement here. And quote, I have always wanted our animation studios to be places where creators can explore their vision with the support and collaboration of other gifted animators and storytellers. The kind of creative culture takes constant vigilance to maintain. It's built on trust and respect, and it becomes fragile if any members of the team don't feel valued. As a leader, it's my responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen, and I now believe that I have been falling short in this regard. I've recently had a number of difficult conversations that have been very painful for me. It's never easy to face your missteps, but it's the only way to learn from them." Unquote. So that was from last year. And that was the only thing buzzing around for a bit and then us and then I started thinking why is Lassender taking leave he's doing a pretty good job of running Disney animation and Pixar which it's getting a little stagnant but the movies are still making money but with all the hashtag me too um people coming out and saying they've either been sexually assaulted or people have come out and admitted um to having done sexual assault, it got me really worried into thinking, oh no, is John Lasseter next? Well, apparently he is, and so many people at Pixar have come out. I've got a statement from Rashida Jones, who is a writer on Toy Story 4, who has left the project for one, creative differences, but as she put it, more importantly, it's because of this kind of really bad, um, these really bad things, um, Lasseter has done. So I have the quote here. We, um, she's referring to herself and her writing partner, partner Will McCormack, quote, we did not leave Pixar because of unwanted advances. That is untrue. That said, we are happy to see people speaking out about behavior that made them f- uncomfortable. We part of ways because of created and most importantly philosophical differences. They describe Pixar as a culture where women and people of color do not have an equal creative voice. We encourage Pixar to be leaders in bolstering, hiring, and promoting more diverse and female storytellers and leaders. So yeah that's the quote and yeah, and on top of that, um, Lassiter is fri- very infamously known for his hugging. I heard um, from this uh, the Hollywood Reporter article I'm looking at. I am looking for the quote here. Um, not the quote, but what it said in the article. But there were also, yeah, it says here, the resources that women at Pixar knew to turn their heads quickly when encountering Lassiter to avoid his kisses and just... He was also, Lasseter was also known for drinking quite a bit at premiere parties. Uh, I mean, whenever an incident like this happens, it just reminds me of the Jared Fogle incident. You know, the subway guy when it was discovered that he was, he had and also filmed um, child porn with his partner. Um, can't remember his name, but 
just the idea that you have this very nice seeming guy and I've seen videos of like making of videos ever since I was a little, little kid of the movies that John Lasseter made including Toy Story like here you have this like this nice seeming man who was a kid at heart making Toy Story. You know, he had a bunch of toys that inspired him to make Toy Story. And I've even heard that Buzz Lightyear was based on Lasseter himself. Like, the design was based on Lasseter himself. And I even remember reading a bit from Steve Jobs' biography, you know, because Jobs worked at, he was the CEO of Pixar, um, that, you know, Lasseter was not one to, you know, drop swear bombs. I mean, at least... He was a nicer seeming guy compared to Jobs. I mean, I know the Walter Isaacson biography I'm talking about supposedly has inaccuracies, but that's where it picked it up. But uh, it's just here you have this like very, very influential guy who even had kind of a Steve Jobs story in itself and that, you know, he even after we got out of I believe he went to Cal Arts, he got started Disney, you know, did some did animation, he tried to get the Brave Little Toaster made, but that resulted in him getting canned and then he came he went off and found a Pixar with Ed Catmo and Steve Jobs. I know Steve Jobs didn't really found Pixar per se, but you know, he you know, he had a big big financial hand. And then he comes full circle, comes back to work at Disney and the CCO in 2006 and he's pretty much responsible for the great animated movies to come out of Disney since 2006 including Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Zootopia, and Moana and yeah and speaking of Disney I should point out that according to Cartoon Brew there was one financial settlement from Disney over Lasseter's actions so it's implying that Disney Animation President Ed Catmull and Disney CEO Bob Iger knew what was going on. Now, before I go for it, I know I'm very critical of Disney for being a little too clean and not, you know, advertising their TV shows as much. I'm not looking at this and thinking, yay, hey, get get Bob Iger out of Disney. This will mean that everything will get better at Disney as a whole. It won't be as clean and their TV would finally get advertised. Eyes properly just like it did in the 90s. No, 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 no. In terms of Cat Mole, if he... If this is the case, because I'm basing it off a of Cartoon Brew, I can't really find that claim on other um, news websites. I tried looking at The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline Hollywood, Bloomberg. You know, I think it's e- easy to say that Cat Mole should also go. Um, and as for Bob Iger... I'm very pissed that if this is, you know, if he knew about this, I'm very pissed at him. I'm kind of wary about in Iger's case because, you know, if Iger goes, then that means, you know, it could put Disney's, like, management in a dicey place. Because here you have this very successful business making the Marvel movies, the Star Wars movies, the Pixar movies, and to have, you know, their... They're, they're, you know, pretty much their head honcho go at a time like this. Oh, boy. I mean, if he truly, you know, did know about this and he goes and, you know, Disney is not going to be in as good of a place. I'm saying, you know, if he goes, like, I'm just saying I would have, like, for if he was in any other position, I think it should go. But in this case, if he were to go, you know, it's his loss. He's putting his company I don't want to say into shit, but it's it won't be in as that sort of guaranteed promising, if getting kind of stagnant place, then it's in. So, yeah, I just can't, you know, honestly can't. I know I'm saying, doing a lot of umming and you knows in the video, but I'm just in a, you know, complete state of shock, you know. With this whole hashtag Me Too movement, I, it always just leaves me worried. Is this person that I idolize and the industry are they next are they guilty the am i just falling for their sort of good natured pr facade and yeah i mean we've seen guys like harvey weinstein kevin spacey brett ratner who are you know who have done some very questionable things it definitely raises eyebrows but i just can't believe how many people who could potentially be and in some cases we can safely assume are 
you know, these sort of sexual rats, if you will. I mean, yeah, there's rumors that Inside Out and Up director Pete Docter might be next in line to take over as CCO because... I was watching John Campia's um, YouTube show. Um, I don't necessarily agree with his opinions on movies, but I think he has a lot of great insight in the industry. And he was saying that he thinks what's really going on is Lasseter, he's canned. Like, the whole six-month sabbatical is just to kind of soften the blow. Which, yeah, I think, especially with how Disney markets itself as this very family-oriented company, in some respects a bit too much yeah he's probably you know Lasseter himself since you know he was the one who or I should say he's being accused of all this and he is even indirectly saying you know uh, he's done bad things in the past you know I think he's definitely got to go especially in the in this day and age I mean even if it wasn't as politically tense as it was I would say he has to go you know It just really hurts that, you know, a guy who has done so much for the animation industry and has done so much for Disney, you know, behind the scenes is, you know, a piece of shit. You know, there's no defending that. So, yeah, I mean, if I keep going, I'm just going to keep being in this state of disbelief. But, you know, what's news is news. You know, so all right, guys, this has been Blood Moon Bobby. Thanks for watching or listening. Hey, guys, this has been a Blood Moon Bobby video. Please like this video or dislike it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.